What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE references in 2022. Only hardcore fans may have caught, man. I love when sometimes WWE they they throw out references or you know little situations that you you know may have remembered from at one point or you know it's just like a kind of a if you know you know situation if you've been watching the show for a while and maybe a wrestler reference reference something that happened uh you know maybe a couple years ago or maybe back in the day it's always cool when they do that it, it makes it makes the whole i guess you could say it, it makes you appreciate the fact that if you have been watching for so long one that's a testament to your will and patience and two you know kind of like a little easter egg insider for the hardcore fans so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel you guys are amazing let's get right into this thing we're going to be sharing some sneaky WWE references in 2022. These range from wrestlers referring to their old characters to even referencing AEW and other wrestling companies. Mm -hmm. At WrestleMania 38, Cody Rhodes made his return to WWE. Shortly into his match against Seth Rollins, <sighs> Cody did a cartwheel and then a taunt with his hands. Yep. This was a reference to Rhodes' Stardust character yep, that he course, played before he was released from WWE in 2016. The throwback to Cody's old persona was so great that it even caused Seth Rollins to laugh and break character. Yeah. However, did you know that, that was WWE a good moment? actually made another reference to Cody Rhodes about three weeks before he returned. On Raw, Seth Rollins fought Kevin Owens, with the winner getting to interview Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania. KO ended up winning, leading to Corey Graves saying this on commentary. All of Seth Rollins' hopes and WrestleMania dreams were dashed tonight. Uh. Did you catch it? Graves gave a hint about Cody Rhodes' return when he said the word dashed. This was a reference when Rhodes was being called dashing Cody Rhodes in WWE over mm. 10 years earlier. The night after WrestleMania that could possibly be Cody true. Rhodes made a sneaky reference to his former employer, AEW. On the January 19th, 2022 episode of Dynamite, Cody Rhodes spoke on the mic for the final time in All Elite Wrestling. Here's the first thing he said. What do you guys want to talk about? Then, about two and a half months later, Cody appeared on Raw and spoke in WWE for the first time since he left in 2016. And what was the first thing Cody said? So, what do you guys want to talk about? Mm, a few months later, WWE made that another up. reference to AEW, Did not pick that but up. this one was a lot meaner. On SmackDown, Ronda Rousey beat up WWE official Adam Pearce. This led to Michael Cole saying this the next week. I have been told, ladies and gentlemen, that Ronda Rousey has been disciplined internally, and the results have, will not be made public. You know, sources have told me this. The WWE official Adam Pearce has gotten carried away. He's aired the dirty laundry laundry publicly hence the reason this investigation was taken behind the scenes with ronda this was a reference to the cm punk drama that was happening in aew at the time that makes sense during a media interview punk publicly aired his frustrations with aew's management that definitely does make sense that's that's wwe being very subtle with their their jabs i mean honestly if she texts an official she should be fired but it's neither here nor there <laughs> This led to a real backstage fight and an internal investigation. There's one other AEW reference WWE made in 2022 that was absolutely hilarious and I'll share it soon. Despite all that, AEW wasn't the only wrestling company that WWE referenced in 2022. On NXT, Braun Breaker interrupted Ilya Dragunov and JD McDonough and said this. So the way that I see it, if my math is correct, which it always is, you have a 33 and a third percent chance of winning. This is, of course, a reference uh, to Bob Breaker's yeah. uncle, Scott Steiner, who had a very famous speech <laughs> 14 years earlier. <laughs> See, there's three ways at sacrifice. You got a 33 and a third chance of winning. <laughs> That's Our cool. is amazing. He's got so many That's hilarious dope. and memorable lines, but one of the best is what he said in 2012. I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Ten years later, Truth decided to bring it back. On Raw, our Truth was the wedding official for a double commitment ceremony between Akira Tozawa, wrestling Tamina, ceremonies, and uh, wrestling marriage However, ceremonies. However, the roles got switched around, and it looked like Brooke and Tamina were going to get together, which prompted Truth to say this: "I don't even know if that's PG." While that was funny, his next <laughs> reference truth. was really heartwarming. In his WrestleMania debut, Dominic Mysterio came out wearing a patriotic red, white, and blue attire. Nope, this wasn't a reference to Kurt Angle. It was actually a tribute to Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat wore a very oh, similar wow. attire in the 90s before he came to WWE. That's this pretty cool. This wasn't the only reference to Eddie Guerrero, though. During Dominic's match, he hit both of his opponents with a springboard arm drag and head scissors combo. 
Eddie used the exact same move during his career when the Man. numbers were stacked against Rest him. In peace, Speaking Eddie, of bro. tribute attires, only Rest old school peace. wrestling fans will understand this one. When Johnny Knoxville from Jackass appeared at the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, he wore a distinct red and white attire. Sorry, this wasn't a shout out to Canada, it was actually a reference to another celebrity wrestler, Andy Kaufman. Kaufman was a comedian, and in the 1980s, he had a very huge rivalry with Jerry the King Lawler. It was oh, wow. so well done that many fans at the time thought it was real. Oh. It's gone down as one of the greatest feuds in wrestling history. Damn, it was didn't cool know to that. Knoxville acknowledge and pay tribute to Kaufman. Okay, let's talk about Did that funny that. AEW reference WWE made. It happened in October 2022 when D Generation X had their reunion. Of course, there was one member who was yeah. obviously absent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other guy's doing something with office equipment these days. I'm not sure. Not only was Corey Graves' comment a reference to Billy yeah. Gunn, who was in AEW, and when he said he's doing something with office equipment, that was, that was, that was a nice little, nice little, uh, uh, a little sneak, sneak this. Even though it wasn't really like a sneak this or anything, it was more so like a little comment without saying actually what company he's in and stuff like that is if you know you know type situation it was a joke about billy gunn's new it was cool that was cool phrase. well there was a lot of great stuff that happened until that was dope man there was also a lot of bad that was pretty cool man it, it's dope when uh and i don't have a problem with those type of little i guess you can say like little secret tidbits or little like secret segments not secret segments but like Something where they're acknowledging something without bashing something, if that makes any sense. Granted, the whole Ronda Rousey and happened behind closed doors type situation, I, obviously that was a, a jab at uh, AEW and the whole CM Punk situation. But I prefer, I'm, I'm okay with the, the little little quick jabs, little, you know, little one-liners or if you know, you know references or if you're able to pick up on what he said in that promo, like... I appreciate those it makes the overall watching experience it, it, it makes you feel like damn bro it, i feel good for watching this or knowing this reference because i've seen this it, it's it's always cool to get those little easter eggs even during a live program so comment down below let me know what's your favorite reference or little easter egg you've seen in aew or in WWE this year. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Easter egg or reference you've seen. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.